Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to MJ Trips. My name is Mickey Joelf, and I'm gonna be showing you how to get these cool ass custom armor sets in vanilla Minecraft. Now, if you've ever played Minecraft Story Mode, you'll know that that game by Telltale Games, it's not available on Steam anymore, so if you've never played it, it kind of sucks for you. I mean, there's, there's probably like a bootleg version out there. I'm not gonna be the one recommending that because I'm pretty sure not to legal. But um, yeah, the game is not available on Steam anymore, but if you've ever played it, you'll know that that game added a bunch of custom armor sets to Minecraft. Um, they were like god tier armor sets, they were basically unbreakable, they had very unique looks in the game. And um, the main character, Jesse, could get them to help fight his strongest enemies, right? This is Beacon Town. This is basically the hometown of uh, Jesse, which is, again, the main character of Minecraft Story Mode. And Jesse is part of the Order of the Stone, the new Order of the Stone. There's an old Order of the Stone. It's like a whole lore thing. You're going to have to check out the wiki or play the game for yourself. Again, I don't know how where you play it because Telltale Games went bankrupt, I'm pretty sure, and all the games are off Steam now. But, um, yeah, these are the armor sets they added. The Petra armor, Redstone Riot, Golden Goliath, and their Defender. Star Shield, Shield of Infinity, Dragon's Bane, Swordbreaker, Tim's Armor, Elagard's Armor, Magnus's Armor, and Adamantium Impervium. I'm going to be showing you how to get these armor sets in um, vanilla Minecraft. It's, it's pretty exciting. Stay tuned. Obviously, when you play with the default textures, you're going to find that these armor sets just look like boring old netherite armor. And that's actually one of my biggest pet peeves in Minecraft. When everyone gets to the final tier of the game, when everyone is basically endgame, right? God tier armor is just highly enchanted netherite armor, which looks cool. I mean, you know, Jappa did a great job with the netherite armor texture, but isn't it the lamest thing ever when you and all your buddies get together and everyone just looks like this, like a terracotta army type deal where everyone looks the same? I think that's pretty lame. So that's why I added these custom armor sets. So first, what you're gonna do, if you want to play with all these colorful armor sets I just showed off, you and your buddies, you can get this on the server. Like, as long as you have Optifine installed, you can play with all your buddies on the same server, all have the same resource pack installed, and you'll be able to, to mix and match with all these cool custom armor sets. First things first, you're gonna go to optifine.net, which is the only official place where you can get Optifine. You're gonna go to downloads, and you're gonna find the appropriate Optifine version for your Minecraft version. For me, currently I'm playing Minecraft uh, 1.18.2. P.S. My barely default resource pack is also out for 1.19, so if you're already playing the snapshot, you can already play with my resource pack. Check out the link in the description. And because we're playing on 1.18.2, we're gonna be downloading this Optifine version. You're just gonna click the mirror link or the download link, it doesn't matter either way. It's gonna take you to this download page, and you're gonna download this file. Once it's downloaded, open that jar file. You're gonna get this neat little installer. All you do is click install, and done. You're done, already. That's the only module you're gonna need for this. Optifine, basically everyone should have it in approved performance, just get up. Man. Then you're gonna go to the link that's in the description. It's my Curse Forge page because this is my resource pack actually that adds all these cool armor sets and many more features. You can watch this video uh, for a cool, um, you know, uh, uh, cohesive change log of all the features in this pack. It's quite a long video, but if you like this sort of stuff, man, you should definitely check it out. And you're just gonna go down here and download the most recent version of my resource pack. Once it's downloaded, go to your resource pack folder and then in the resource pack menu, you'll be able to select it right here, by the default. Make sure it's above the default look and feel of Minecraft. Just click done and it's gonna load for you. Enjoy my cool as loading screen. You might actually wanna check out my YouTube channel, which you're already at, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. So you don't really have to, you know, look at that loading screen, but, but it's still there for you, you know, for your entertainment. And we're in. Now you'll see some some stuff will have changed now that we've actually enabled my resource pack. First of all, the great armor sets that you've seen earlier in this video, they are back. These are the ones from Story Mode. You can try on all of them. I've also added custom sword textures for all of the armor sets, uh, kind of like, you know, just like a little extra, because these sword textures aren't actually in Minecraft Story Mode. I kind of just had to make up some sword textures just using the palettes of each armor set. But it's kind of nice, man. The Netherite sword uh, in um, vanilla Minecraft, or with my resource pack for that matter, doesn't really match the, the um, color palette of any of these armor sets. So I've added also, I've also added custom um, Netherite swords for each armor set. Now you're wondering, how do you actually get these armor sets? Do they just magically appear in your world, even if you're not playing on this special MC Story Mode map? No. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna make sure that you, you go to the nether, you actually get yourself some netherite ingots, you upgrade your diamond armor to netherite, and then you have these blank netherite armor pieces. You're gonna go into an anvil, after having collected some iron, I guess, and you're simply gonna be renaming your netherite armor. I've actually made a custom page on the Google Sheets, with all the uh, armor sets and the, the names. The, the relevant names for them. Um, you can check it out. The link will be in the description. Uh, this is just for your referrals. You can see uh, images of all the armor sets in my, in my pack and with the names to them. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna be using the golden apple armor set, which I actually hadn't displayed here. So golden apple. See, the texture already changes. So the golden apple sword, golden apple helmet. Very easy, just gonna uh, use the control C, control V command. 
so it's just a matter of renaming your ship, man. So if you were with your friends on your server playing around, you want this custom armor set, it's the easiest thing ever. Like, a child can do the laundry is what we say in the Netherlands, uh, which is where I live. Little MJ um, bit of trivia. So yeah, so yeah, let's put on these, arm this, uh, these pieces and look at this. Instantly, we look super unique. This is a great... The Golden Apple armor set. This is actually a secret armor set you get um, by interacting with a llama a certain way in Minecraft Story Mode. It's kind of random, but I've tried to add all of them. Petra's armor as well, which isn't actually uh, obtainable in the game, but I've still added it uh, to my research pack. And and yeah, man, I mean, that's it. That's that's really all it takes. I mean, <laughs> this this title might... The title of the video might be really mysterious. Ooh, how to get these secret armor sets. But it's really not that difficult. You just get my resource back. You rename your pieces and bada bing, bada boom, you're done. Look at that. I think this is a great looking armor set. I mean, any of these. You could, Like I said, you can mix and match them. If you really like the helmet for the dragon's vein armor, for example, would you want to match it with Magnus's leggings? I don't know why you do that purple and green, but you could, you know. You'd look kind of silly, but you can do it. Here, look. You can create like this wild disco armor set. Here, let's take the Reds on Riot chest blade. And then we'll take, uh, I don't know, let's just take the, um, we'll take the uh, Tim's, Tim's uh, boots. All right, look at us. We look really silly, but you can do it, you know, you can mix and match whatever you want. All of this is still netherite here. Uh, so yeah, get creative, man. Get wild. Last but not least, I've added a Order of the Stone Sword, which is just a netherite sword renamed to Order of the Stone Sword, uh, which represents the Order of the Stone logo seen right there. And it appears actually all throughout Minecraft Story Mode. Just a little fun Easter egg. If you want to roleplay being in the Order of the Stone, uh, and you don't actually have the amulet because obviously it wouldn't have a function in vanilla Minecraft, the Order of the Stone amulet that's seen in Minecraft Story Mode. You can rename a sword to this and, uh, you know, get, get role-playing, man. I mean, to me, this is just the ultimate resource pack. I mean, this is just the ultimate way to play the game. My barely default resource pack actually adds uh, a lot of other features into the game that you might want to uh, play around with, like uh, custom uh, fence uh, Connect the textures, custom fence UV, new beacon models, new textures for iron blocks, gold blocks. I mean, I can just literally walk around the world and just explore tons of custom stuff that my research back adds. Uh, proper pellets for lava, reworked lava, where, where it doesn't all... Uh, where it doesn't have a palette that uses like 200 colors, if you care about that sort of stuff. Jack-o'-lanterns have depth to them. I don't know if you can see it with the shaders turned on, but uh, yeah, they have depth to them now. Doors have 3D details like this. You'll be seeing it right there. Bookshelves have 3D details. Iron bars are 3D. Man, you can just go around your Minecraft world and just see a bunch of custom changes in your research pack. Like these new uh, sea lantern textures that actually... Uh, change color over time very slowly just like prismarine itself new crop models new iron trapdoor textures and models little 3d details basically everywhere man i mean you're just gonna have to try out my research pack uh, get all your friends to try it as well and just you know play with it together man because you, you you can suddenly walk throughout your base and you're gonna notice all these little details like look at these chests like the 3d chests you can look inside of them furnaces have all have this wild depth to them now I mean, it just, the list goes on and on. You should just check out my respect, man. Barely default. Uh, get the link in the description. All the links that you'll be needing are in the description. A little bit of a housekeeping updates from me myself. Next, uh, coming this Sunday, actually, there will be a podcast episode with my girlfriend coming up. Uh, so if you're into long format podcasts and you like my personality, I guess, and you want to see me ramble on for like one and a half hour while sipping on some alcohol, check out that podcast. Uh, make sure to subscribe, uh, like the video if you like it, and show it to your friends, man. Like I said, I mean, this is the ultimate way to play the game. If you like the vanilla textures, unless you're playing with like a wild texture pack that completely overhauls Minecraft, if you like the default textures, ditch those and uh, get my barely default resource pack instead. Because honestly the game just gets so much better just like all these little details and these little extra features it adds once you're used to my resource pack you won't want to play without it i promise you like look at these sandstone uh, variants like uh, chiseled sandstone just has these few extra variants with just just a bit 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 of extra immersion you know so you can just have a bit more randomness to your world or just have a look at these levers another one of those tiny details turn it off and there'll be off redstone in there turn it on there'll be turned on redstone in there just like a slight slight little details like this man i mean i keep going on and on but i'll stop right now because this video is going to be way too long subscribe to our channel check out my other mj videos and uh, enjoy my research pack man peace out <laughs>